Okay, I haven't done an RC related video for, you know, quite some time, so uh, I'm actually here to actually do another RC related video for you guys. <laughs> uh, I've actually got these tires at, at Amazon, and they're like $10 for all four tires. Um, and these are not pre glued from the factory. So it's not like the Traxxas ones or some of the pre-made tires that you get from your local hobby shop. Uh, however, it shouldn't be that hard to actually glue an RC car tire. So um, if you're a first time of doing this, then it, it's going to be a little bit tricky. But as, you, as time goes by, you'll get used to it. So, like I said, I got these from Amazon for like under $10 for all four. And these are actually, these wheel design is actually based on a wheel design that I found from HPI uh, called The Works. Uh, I got uh, the CA glue from Dynamite, which is the manufacturer who does the popular Losi and Vitera and ECX. So, yeah, I'm, I'll be. Showing you guys me gluing up tires. Now your tires will vary on what you get, but sometimes, or most of the time, your tires will have a tread pattern. In this case, it has a directional pattern. What that means is, if you're, let's say this is, let's say uh, this right here, if this is the front of the car, your tire, since if, it's, if you have a directional tire, you would see that the tire pattern, the tread pattern, has like almost is going to a point. It's settling to a point, and that's actually point. And the direction of the tire treads are going this way. So that's what a directional tire uh, tread design is all about. Usually, this is does it doesn't really matter if on RC cars, but on real cars, it's actually a, a big deal, especially if you're driving. A real car in the rain where all the roads are slippery um, the tread patterns the the trenches of the tread pattern uh, is supposed to create a channel for the water to go through so it will help you prevent from hydroplaning but uh, on RC cars it shouldn't be it shouldn't really be a big deal but for aesthetics it's better to actually have the directional tire pattern facing towards the front of the car uh, the thing, the first thing you really need to do, the basic idea, is you just all you need to do is for on on road tires. All you just need to do is use your thumb, and I'm using a glove by the way because I actually attempted doing this before and with my bare hands, and nearly one of my fingers got stuck into each other, so I didn't want to go through that. But basically, uh, based on what I've seen some other videos on YouTube, is you use your thumb, get a get a firm grip of the tire. And you use your use the your thumb to to peel down the side of the tire and just glue the um the inside part of the the tire. So I'm actually going to do that right now. So uh, be careful because the CA glue actually bonds really fast. And um, so I push it down. And then just put a little bit of glue in there and then close it up and then what Traxxas does is they actually squeeze the glue part of the tire just a little bit and make sure um, what I from what I've learned from other people make sure you just do a small dab of glue on each um, area where the spokes of the wheels are pointing at. Or you, you don't have to do that, but that's like the recommended um, method that most people, that the guy that I saw on YouTube would normally do. And you don't have to put like every single spot of glue all, all, around, the, all around the tire because um, this kind of glue actually spreads so if you for example if I'm also doing this if I'm squeezing a little bit of the glue side of the tire it's going to spread a little bit towards the towards the open areas of the tire that's not glued so okay now this one's already stiff and not going anywhere 
I'm gonna do the other side, uh, do the next section of the tire. So once again, peel it off, peel a little bit of it, put a small dab of glue. Oh, I happened to put a little bit too much, but it's all right, it happens, don't worry. If you accidentally put a little bit too much glue, it's okay. Um, but don't like put it way too much to almost to the point that you almost spilled it. You do not want to waste any of that glue, that precious glue. So once again, I put a small dab of glue in it, and then all I just need to do, squeeze, squeeze the area where it's glued so it can so the glue can spread. And then do the same thing on the other. A little bit too much. I'm going a little bit too fast here, but you get you get the you get the idea. Just put put some glue on the open spot of the tire. And well, first of all, peel it off. Put the uh, put some glue and peel it back, and then squeeze the tire, and then work your way around the tire. And then once that's done, this side of the tire is now officially locked into place and that will not be going anywhere so there you guys have it for the first side that's the first side done now I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side so once again to do on the other side all you need to do uh, is do the same thing as what you did in the front use your thumb to peel one side of the tire and put a little bit of glue in it Squeeze it just a little bit to spread the glue around. Okay, I just got stuck on the paper towel. Okay. Um, all right, so and then you just, once that's already bonded together, go to the next section of the tire, peel, use your thumb to peel off the side of the tire down a little bit and then add a small dab of glue squeeze the tire so the glue can spread and then you and then work your way around the tire Like I said, I'm using gloves. Um, some people don't, but I happen to use gloves because um, I did this before on another RC car tire and my fingers nearly got bonded together and I did not want to do that. I know you guys were just thinking you evolved because you were being stupid with it. Yeah, I guess you're right. <laughs> but just for safety's sake, to prevent that from happening, I would should use gloves. Okay, so it looks like, oh yeah, that's already, that's already, yeah, it's already good. Okay, so this tire is now officially now glued onto the onto the wheel. Yeah. So, anyways, that's actually how you glue RC car tires. All you just need to do simply is just peel, use your thumb to peel one side of the tire and then you'll see the inner part of the bead show up and then just use the, the CA glue and just put a little bit of a little bit of glue on it into into the inner bead of the tire and then squeeze squeeze the tire a little bit so the glue can spread because CA glue actually spreads pretty pretty fast and they do bond pretty fast so you got to be very careful when you when you use CA glue because if you misuse it or you make one um, mistake that you're gonna regret in the near future, yeah, I, 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 I just said it just right now. You're gonna regret it because the t uh, CA tire glue really bonds really, really, really fast. So let's be careful about that. But aside from that, it, this is this shouldn't be that hard to do. It's pretty simple to do as long as you know what you're doing. So. Anyways guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this little video and I will talk to you guys again later.